Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving my honest review of the Capacities app. And by the end of this video, you're going to understand exactly how it works, how it compares to other apps, and all the pros and cons that come with using this app. So to start with, what is Capacities? It's a revolutionary knowledge management tool that reimagines the way we organise and connect our thoughts. Designed as a studio for your mind, it introduces the concept of object-based thinking, where you work with tangible objects like books, people, conversations or ideas instead of faceless files. These objects can be interconnected to form a network of thoughts, helping you understand complex topics and potentially sparking new ideas. The app provides a calm and productive environment for you to think, organise and get work done. So what are the use cases of this app? To start with, academic research. Students and researchers can use capacities to organise their research materials, notes and ideas. They can create objects for each paper or book they're studying and connect those objects to form a network of thoughts. It could also be used for project management. Project managers can use capacities to manage their products. They can create objects for each task, assign them to team members and track their progress. It can also be used for content creation and that will help creators plan and organise their content. They can create objects for each article or blog post, connect them with relevant research materials and track their writing progress. It can also be used for personal knowledge management. Individuals can use capacities as a PKM tool to organise their personal knowledge and ideas. They can create objects for each topic they're interested in, connect them with related topics and build their own knowledge network. And it can also be used for learning new topics. Anyone learning a new topic can use capacities to structure their learning process. They can create objects for each learning resource like online courses, tutorials and books connect them with the concepts they're learning and track their learning progress. But remember, these are just examples. The possibilities with capacities are endless. It's all about how you choose to use it. So how much does capacities cost? To start with, there's a free plan. This is available for everyone and includes unlimited spaces, objects, blocks, synchronization across all devices, unlimited custom content types, full support for import, export and backups, unlimited media storage, intelligent global content search and more. Next up, there's Capacities Pro. This version is for professionals and includes everything in the free version, plus an AI assistant, task management, intelligent media analysis and more. However, it's not available yet. And then next up, they have Capacities Believer. This is for supporters and costs from $10 per month. It includes all pro features as soon as they're available. But please note the prices and features may vary over time, so it's always a good idea to check the official website for the most up-to-date information. So I've talked about some of the positives of this app, how about the cons? To start with, task and project management. Some users have found it inadequate for managing tasks and projects. There's also a learning curve. While it's generally considered to be user-friendly, some users have reported a learning curve. There have also been some reports of issues of dragging and dropping items directly into a note on Mac. And finally, Capacities is currently not a signed application, which might prompt a warning on your computer during installation. But please note that these are user reported issues and may not reflect on the experience of all users. The developers do seem to be active in addressing concerns and implementing feedback, so these issues may be resolved in future updates. So how does it compare to other apps? Capacities has been compared with other note taking apps like Notion and Obsidian. Here are some of the key differences. In terms of capacities versus Notion, in terms of the note taking style, capacities is built on objects like books, people or meetings. All of your notes are interconnected and organise themselves in a network of ideas. This is different from Notion, which is based on tables and folders. It's also different in the user base. Notion is a workspace for teams focusing on collaboration, team workflows, data and automation. On the other hand, capacities is designed for individuals to think and work. So how about capacities versus Obsidian? Both Obsidian and Capacities are note-taking apps designed to store and retrieve information in a way that is more in tune with our own brains. They both fall into the same niche and basically do the same thing. Please note that the best app for you depends on your specific needs and workflows, so it's always a good idea to try out different apps and see which one fits you best. So is it right for you? Deciding whether Capacities is the right app for you depends on your specific needs and workflows. If you prefer an object-based approach to note-taking and don't require extensive task and project management features, Capacities could be a good fit. It's designed for individuals to think and work, making it different from team-focused apps like Notion. 
However, if you're accustomed to a more traditional folder-based system or need robust collaboration features, other apps might be more suitable. As I said earlier, it's always a good idea to try out other apps to see which one fits you best. Remember, the best tool is the one that helps you work most effectively. So this has been my video giving an honest review on the Capacities app. And hopefully now that you've watched this video, you understand everything it does and you should be able to work out whether it's right for you and whether you should ditch your other note-taking apps for this new one. I hope you also found this video helpful and if you did, please go ahead and comment down below to say this video helped you out and also like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.